All right, hibbity 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 stocks. What we got on the screen here? Ah, Roku. Roku up here. Let's take a shot up here real quick before we go through Roku. Oh, it burns a little bit. All right. Roku, I've got the 15 minute chart up here. I'm going to show why I have the 15 minute chart up here. I am Hillbilly Trading and the High Tech Redneck. Now we got a high through Roku at 176.55 on a day chart. One year day chart. But what I am not seeing here, because I like day trading more than anything, we like to me, Roku's nothing but a gainer. I mean, we'll drop back here, and here it comes back almost. Almost a whole hundred percent retrace right there and drop back down. I would look for another retest of this number 168.65. I would look for Roku to retest it. I'm not going to draw the fib. And why not? Let's draw the fib on it. Let's look at the fib. Might as well. I'll tell you what, let's look at the fib on a clear chart. What is that about that? Wow. Which is fun to say. She's almost got a hundred percent retracement, then a pullback. He out here and he living out in these woods. He got pride in the sense of what's good. I like that for a long. All right, let's shrink her out. See what it looks like now. Ah, uh, we're looking by power knowing. The test of the 50% fib. 50% popped above it, come back, test it, went below it, jumped, and right here it's above it. Nice respect that. So this is a pretty good fib. I mean, I like this fib. You see how many times it hits this 50% area? Foul. Nice. Let's see what now, on the low, she has dropped back down to the 38.2% fib. Now, I would look for it to retest this 50% fib one more time. Uh, at 136.54, 136.49. Probably be a good play. 136.49, that's pretty good jump if you day trade. It's pretty, any kind of trade, swing trade, whatever. We're sitting at 128.40 right now. All right, that's on the roll. Let's drop down charts. Let's look at the hour. Uh, yeah, hour just, you know, confirms what I'm talking about. Testing this area right here at the 38%. I would look for it to retrace. These things like to retest these fibs where they continue in their direction. Uh, a lot of chatter going on about Roku. Something about the CEO ain't reporting. Don't know what that shit's all about, but we'll wait to find out. I like Roku. Roku may be one we watch for the week. Let's remove that draw and let's do our swing points on the short. Ah, well, they're about the same. We got double tops there, so no wonder it dropped like it did. Twizzler sticks at the top. Double price action. We put our fib there and draw it down. There we got double bottoms. Nice. Nice to find swing points on the hour chart there. Double tops, double bottoms. Love seeing that. Let's shrink her down and see what's going on here. All right, here's our nice lovely test of the 50% 50, 50 Fibonacci. She, she falls right out on the day. Now she's flying out down there, but you see this little move right here? We got, we got three, four red, greens in there. Four. Oh, all right. Alright, well that looks kind of interesting, but then we see things like this, ba 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 and drop, ba 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 and drop, so I'm watching this, kind of worrisome man, I mean, I'm iffy on Roku, I like the long play, do not like the short play on Roku, let's check our EMA, Ah, uh, see here, EMA, we're on simple moving average, on the day chart, shrink this down so we can see what's going on, I have people texting me, banging me, and all kinds of crazy shit, boom, let's remove this for clarity, 
Yeah, right. No EMA. We're actually below simple moving average. Oh, drop down here, but like this right here, this little swing point on the MACD. Look for it to come back up and pop before continuing lower. I'm kind of I'm kind of bearish in Roku, really tell you the truth. So far from what I'm seeing, might get a bullish move on the on the on the long. I mean she's possibility for the retest that 50% fib. We'll pull it back up here in a second. Oh no, it's moving average below the hundred. The next one is what the 200 right there. Yep, the 200 moving average on the day. Let's look at the hour. Oh no, don't like that. Still bullish in it. Uh, I mean bearish. Excuse me. Bearish. On the hour on the SMA. See, I'm looking at all these things when I chart, man. I mean, I've been looking at everything. I may not talk about it, but I'm glancing through it. Now on the hour, ooh, she's so low at RSI. This might be the point where she swings back up to do that Fibonacci test. We'll pull that chart up right here and look at it one more time on the day chart. Maybe a retest of the 50% on the day chart. Let's look at it here. Now here's my swing areas, nice to find. Up, there's our bottom. Alright. Let's get on over. Yes, it's a possibility that we're going to get a bounce off the 38.22%. Uh, I would call this on the low, man. Up. I'm going to watch this all week. What we're going to do, we're going to do a little a little test of it, watch it all week, and see if we retest this 50% fib that we see so much respect for. I mean, you can see it, dun dun, right here. Let's scoot it all over. There. Here. Well, you see, this is support, which is actually right now, it's resistance. Right here, right here. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna watch this all week. We'll recap it. We'll see what happens with Roku for the 50% uh, retest on the loan. Um, well, what I'm going to, I'm gonna go out on a limb here for all you YouTubers, and I'm gonna say that this is the turning point. 327.88 on this fib. That is my bounce point where I will move back up to retest to 136.70. This is the play on the long that I would go with. Uh, now I know I know usually all these texts are sitting here looking at well look look at all them red candles, man. I mean, you call them uh three black crows or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, maybe not, man. I I call them that. What I'm calling that is the bottom. You see this? I am calling that the bottom. Let's look on over. Yeah, I am calling that the bottom before we get a you know a bullish pop. So we'll we'll follow this trade. We'll see how it works out. You know, like I said, these are my opinion. In my long don't you know do what you're going to do. I am not going to be responsible. You know why? Because I love you, but it's all on you. So, next, there's Roku. That is a nutshell. I know it ain't much. Let's jump over here and look at our support and resistance. Because, I, like you said here at Hillbilly, Hillbilly Trading, we are old school. So, we put pen to paper. Roku support, 118.90. What are we saying at? 128.40? That's heavy support. And then 103.24. And that's heavy sport. This is price action. Not EMA, not Fibonacci. Resistance. 137.7 above our 50% field. Heavy resistance. And then again, heavy resistance on price action at 153.05. Alright, now, let's move on. Uh, people tweeting me here, man, and texting me. Ah, another, another, another reaction. Let's see, what are we doing? We did Roku. Let's do Twitter. 
you gotta think about Twitter. T W T O. You know Donald Trump loves the Twitter. Loves it. Loves it. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Love the Twitter. All right. You see, I can see. You can see. I've done put some shit on Twitter. Yeah. Ah. Right. All right. Now here is what I'm looking at Twitter. I like Twitter. It's maybe another one we follow all the week. Follow it. I've got this drawn here on the day. I'm looking for this 38.2 percent of test. Now keep in mind what I am looking for is to catch these retracements. I'm looking to catch that 38.2 percent retracement. I want to catch that 50 percent retracement. This is how this is how I trade. You don't have to trade that away. And if you don't like the way I trade, don't watch. <laughs> I don't know, you know. But this is what I want to catch. We're sitting here at 37.78. I want 35.28. I'm looking for that bullish move. And another shot of crap. I wish I could show y'all this. My old lady, she got me a Eagles Super Bowl ring in, uh, replica. This is the most baddest ring you've ever seen. It is so cool. I wish I could show you this. But that's a screen share for you. Ah, let's blow this up here for you. Pop, 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 pow. We still haven't took out this low. Matter of fact, have we took out 50% of that candle? We even took out 50% of that candle on the day chart. I like Twitter. I like Twitter. I like it for 35.28. This is what I would play my options on. Hmm. Bam, bam, bam. You might play Twitter. You know, I might actually go off the of spy and play something other than spy this week. Yeah, I know. I doubt it. All right, on the hour, let's look at a short swing trade here. I mean, not a swing trade, but swing movement. A little bitty swing movement. Now, here, keep in mind, I'm going to draw this fib line here. But this may not be the swing low yet. Okay? Keep this in mind. I'm drawing it hoping, hoping it's the swing low. Well, I'm hoping it is. I'm going to watch it to see if I'm right. Now, on the short, if this is my swing low, on a day trade, 32.99 is highly possible, which we're at 32.78. That would be, I would make a call on my options for 34. Depending on how it looks come uh, open Monday, I like Twitter for for uh, 34 on a, on a, on a uh, call on a day trade call. That's right, which. It may not be a day trade. I'd have to go in really big to get that because she she don't move that much. Let's see here. In this whole thing, our largest candle is a big red. And that goes from 3278 to 3328. 22. That's not much, but going big, going hard, going fast, get out fast. Yes, that's how we play it. That's how we day trade that. 33.23 and 32.90. So that's a difference of about 10, 20. 32 cents, 32 cents could be, could be with a $6,000 investment, 32 cents could be about six to $700 day trade profit if we can pop this in here. Now, if we don't, we play our options a little far out so we got a little breathing room, you know what I mean? You got to think about this stuff, you know? You on day trade an option, it don't work out for you, buy two to three weeks to a month out gives you some breathing room to get back up there but I'm also a big believer in measured risk which we'll talk about in another video but if I was going to play this I got this here at 3278 my measured risk Ooh. I don't know I don't know everything's in the twos my measured risk is usually, I, I just like to go with flat out $500. When I start reaching that $500 loss, 
I'm like, get rid of it. I don't care if it comes back. Just gone. But, I don't know. I don't really have a measurement for my risk. A lot of people like to do the 50% of the count on the floor. Some people like to do the bottom of the swing, which is at 32.61. But we're just, we're just like, what, uh, 17 cents above that? I would at least give it to 32.45 or 32.40. But anyways, that's Twitter in a nutshell. Let's talk about uh, support and resistance on the price range. Twitter on our piece of paper. Support. 31.26 is our support. That's down there. That might be a good area for our risk. Then, then a double bottom. A 30.09. Ooh. Resistance. 34.99. I'd like to see it up to 34.99. That's way up there, higher than where it's at. Higher than its highs. I mean, we're looking at my swing points are, I don't know, I don't I ain't too crazy about Twitter. I keep looking at it. I just don't like how little it moves. I like something that moves. So that resistance, 34.99. Weak resistance. And then another set of resistance, 36.34. And then 37.58. Alright, that's Twitter. I ain't too crazy about Twitter. But I am going to go over here with my little ink pen and put a star by Roku. Because I think I'm going to watch Roku. See what happens. Alright, this has been Hibbity 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 Trading. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I understand the more I drink, the more entertaining they become. Y'all, God bless and have a wonderful day.